welcome to my channel in a previous video i was showing you this uh, filament sensor i have made very simple in this video i will show you this one which combines a filament runout sensor and a filament jump sensor let's look at that Here are the different components we have the casing the two sliders and the bearing and here we have a push button and the wires go out here now the bearing i'll place it here that will help the filament run very smoothly this slider it has a spring here i would place it here on this in this part this is the one used by the filament runout sensor. It moves up and down. If the filament is in, it moves down. And if the filament is, is out, it moves up and presses this button. This second slider is the one that is used by the filament jump sensor. I place it here. And as you can see, it presses on the push button. Now, if there is filament inside as you can see this slider is moved downward it does not push the button and there is no connection we're going to try it before connecting it to the computer I will use this clamp meter to check it I can connect it here now I put the cover on the top this small part would help me move the slide up and down now as you can see when the filament is jammed or when it is blocked by anything it tangles and when it tangles it pushes upward the slider like this and as you can hear it creates the connection if I let it down, there's no more connection. It moves back a little bit. The connection is created. This is for the filament jump sensor. Now, for the filament runout sensor, when the filament is out, totally out, as you can hear, this slider moves up and it creates the contact, as you can hear. I can insert the filament back no more connection if it is tangled it pushes upward this this slider here like this you hear the contact no more contact and when it is out it pushes this slider upwards creating the contact just like that it's very simple now we are on the printer now we're going to see how it works on the printer here I can install the sensor using this mount here I just place it on the motor here and now I can insert the sensor there it is now I load my filament there it is now how it works is very simple when the filament is jumped you will exercise a short pressure here and it will pull up this slider and we're going to see now it's a printing we're going to simulate the filament to jump I will keep the spool I will see how it would react now I block the spool and watch the screen and there it is it says filament run out now we load our filament again and resume printing okay it has resumed printing this time I'm going to cut the filament I cut it here and let's see how it works
Okay, as you can see, it says filament run out and stop the print. And as you can see, both the run out and a jump sensor they work perfectly and they are both on the same on the same device you find in the description all the links to download the stl files and uh, thank you for watching